All right, guys, they're playing a Malphite top lane today. We're playing Malphite versus Renekton top lane. And for the runes, running Grasp, Shield Bash, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Biscuits Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. Now, man, we're back with the Malphite. Actually, a very highly requested top laner. Lots of people have been asking for Malphite. And I fully understand it because Malphite is currently the best tank you can play, honestly. I'll show you this game. We're running into a really, really, really good matchup. The early game is kind of kind of rough, but things will improve. Specifically, once you get the Bami Cinder as an item. I lost like a couple last hits. Not really too proud of. So the problem about the matchup is that Renekton will eventually get all the Fury. And once he gets like the full Fury, he can go for a full combo and sustain like with this Q and actually win the fight really hard. That's why the early game isn't really the best, but things will improve. Was that to let him shove? I was kind of hoping that I could get the, the lame push for myself. Because if you can, if you can get level 1 into level 2 into Renekton, you actually get to trade him very easily level 2 and get like a winning trade. But if he takes level 2 into you, it's better if you back off. Okay. He's probably going to rotate already. I feel like he's rotating. <laughs> My mid laner better be careful right here. Oh, never mind. He's already back. Let's see. He's got no fury, so he's in the losing trade. I got TP. He's got TP too. Nice. I'll take that. You know, this can actually be a good fight. It it entirely depends on if he's going to hit the uh, kill me now. Got my passive back. Didn't get my passive back. Okay. Yeah, my passive was a problem right there. I needed to get my passive back. At least for getting the kill against the uh, Renekton to a 1v2. That's nice. Go for Bramble immediately. TP. I am not gonna lie, this jungler is trolling the match. Can I admit? Because he got to kill me, but do you know what he does? He actually shoves the lane directly into me, and it's actually going to make Renekton lose all of the farm. That's gonna push me. That's gonna push me really far ahead here. I specifically chosen to buy Brembo because Brembo uh, completely counters the healing from Renekton, making him heal a lot less. And we're also putting points in my W so that we can tank up a lot more. Yeah, I bet, man, this Renekton probably knows what he did. I'm winning those trades. Uh, I have more XP advantage than him, way more. Very good. I, uh, I will keep the lane frozen because as long as I can consistently hold it in this position, I will end up winning. He'll probably look for a reset, like, because he probably still has to teleport. I will actually hit my level 6, like, way sooner than, than Renekton does. So my level 6 is going to be better, too. There will be a time level 6 where he does temporarily beat me a little bit because his level 6 is... Slightly more powerful than mine, but Bramble's Fest should be doing a great job here. Okay, we got the wave stacking. Stacking waves, guys. I talk about this a lot and I'll say it again. Stacking waves are extremely valuable because if you stack waves and you push that under tower, you can reset, buy items, and come back stronger. Um, or you can even go for rotations. Like, either way, stacking waves is the best way to win lane. Whether you're behind or ahead, uh, doesn't really matter. Let's see if we can actually go for a fight. I don't have a ward, but that doesn't matter. I have to level six here. Could maybe burst them. Could try, maybe. Eh, you guys didn't see that. Uh, so I, I was actually trying to to 
hit my uh hit my ultimate as close away from the tower as possible. But unfortunately that didn't work. I actually didn't even get to hit him. My strategy is completely failed. I think he knows that my teammates are nearby. A good chance. Yeah. He uh he managed to figure out. It <laughs> turns out he walked all the way back, so he definitely had vision on my uh, on my teammates. Yeah, I'll take my chance and just go back to base and get my uh, Bami Cinder. So this is something I want to talk about right now. When you play Malphite, there is a habit of people that often do the same thing where they buy Bremble's vest and then they buy steel caps and then they buy like anything related to armor, right? Um, that's not always the smartest idea. So currently we're playing into Renekton and Bremble's vest is definitely enough to beat him already. If we go into steel caps right now, the problem with buying it is that you're going to delay your main item. So specifically referring to the Sunfire. If you delay Sunfire, your power spike is going to come way later. So if you can beat your opponent without the steel caps and like Bramble's Fest is enough already, just start buying into ba into Bami Center into Sunfire so you can actually get your power spike. There's no uh, no benefit for me going steel caps because I'm already tanking his damage. I can easily tank his damage. I'm not going to be dying to his damage anymore. So that's kind of the, the point I want to talk about. Don't fall into that habit. Luke, you see? Like, he does no damage on me. I already have enough. The Bramble's Fest is enough. Okay. See? Do you see what I'm talking about? So even when he hits like a full Fury stacked uh, ability on me, he still doesn't do any damage because my Bramble into W max is already enough. It actually doesn't make it any better. All right, let's go back here. So again, I, I can buy into steel caps right now. Is that a good choice? Not really, because it actually delays my Sunfire. It's just not worth it. Uh, let's go into another armor. So now I'm specifically buying armor to be built um, into steel caps because I had like a little bit of gold left and now we can build now we can continue like farming up for the sunfire alright and now you can see my lane is pretty much decided like uh, he I, I can beat him with my eyes closed right now I'm like so strong I can push lanes out consistently he's taking my farm and I'll just go in for that Nice. I'm not gonna take the risk of trying to dive him. I'm just gonna consistently push top lane right now, and that's really it. Uh, Belfast showing in bottom. But yeah, definitely Malphite is the best tank in the entire game. If you're looking for free elo like this champion, you you can play this champion even without a keyboard, man. Like. It is so easy to play Malphite. This this champion requires no skill in any yes. any way. You can just turn your brain off in Windows fights as well. Like there's no specific combo you have to do. Just do like an auto W, do like an auto E. You only have to be smart about how you use your auto attacks into your combo, and that's really it. There's nothing else about Malphite that is hard to play. I think I might go for a really nice rotation to bot lane soon. I'm just going to be taking one more wave. And then we'll see if we can do like a nice teleport. Okay. There you go. Seems like Belfast or something. Yeah, I'm going in. Actually, I missed my ultimate again. 
And we actually don't get anything. This has to be my worst mall fight ultimate I've ever done. Easily. Maybe my teammates can... Uh... I, I can't leave this lane yet. I have to keep going because they are really low. I can maybe force them to stay. I've got some of my worst ultimates I've ever done, man. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Okay, as long as I can make the vein stay, I think it's killable. Nice. This is worth trading for because if I kill that if I kill that vein, she is actually worth eight kills. She's worth a lot of gold. I actually just trade it so, so nicely for that. Um let's go into Soundfire. I think I might maybe go lucidity boots. Nah, never mind, I'm not going to. It's going to this one. I could be going for Lucidity Boots. It would be very good in this game. I think I might change my mind here. I'm going Lucidity Boots anyway. The reason why Lucidity Boots is so valuable this game is because with this item, you have some spell haste, so you can TP flash better. And of course, you also have the ability haste, so you can actually spam everything way more. I think it's probably just like what I need. The next item we are going to go afterwards is definitely going to be Frozen Heart because um, Vayne is auto-based, Arelli is auto-based, Belfet is also auto-tech based. Oh, we got him. <laughs> He's prioritizing the cannon so much. Unbelievable. Sure, bro. Lots of people have that habit where they see a tank and they just keep going for the wave because they think that the tank is not going to kill them. This Renekton has that habit. Okay. We've got the final plates as well. Definitely Frozen Heart is the option we're going to go with soon. And my TP is 54. So it's not that far away. We're going to be doing another play soon. Because uh, TP is like pretty low cooldown at this point. Lucidity boots will help a lot. With it too. Okay. Let's grab the frozen hard. Very nice. Let's wait for that one too. Okay. And now we're good to go. Frozen Heart is so OP in this game. Like we're countering three people at the same time with one item. That's insane. I think that this is definitely killable by the way. Uh, Rambus can go in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't get to hit my ultimate for the third time. Hmm. But this time, she flashed away. And I couldn't get in range for the other people. So unfortunately, there's nothing I could have done there differently. I'll just TP back top lane. Because otherwise, the, the wave is too valuable. I can't lose him. My TP is extremely low cooldown. It's already 180 seconds. Uh, this is all thanks to the fact that we're running Lucidity Boots. And we, in the runes, we are also running the Cosmic. So the cooldown is like extremely low. I'm actually able to TP again in two minutes and a half. My farm is absolutely perfect. Couldn't get any better than this. Renekt is only showing, by the way, so... We can't overextend too far. She might have to continue running. Maybe I'm wrong and we can just go for it. Hmm. Yep. Nice. And 
we got that one. So the fun part is that I just used my ultimate. I actually tanked like three people pretty much, or like specifically two, because they try to hard focus me. My ultimate comes back in 70, and my TP comes back in 115. So we're actually about to make another play soon. Let's grab the, the next wave too, and then we will just go back. Uh, it's it's actually not very risky because the Renekton is still dead. You have to be careful about Belfet, of course. There we go. 1.7k. My frozen heart's going to make me completely unkillable against like three people. Okay, I think this is killable. A flash, maybe I can apply to slow. Uh, let's go. I don't know what Belfet's doing. Probably forgot that he's playing as the Mo fight. <laughs> nice. Uh, so my next item will definitely be Thormil because again they're pretty much full AD. And my TP is 45. My ultimate is back. I think that Vayne is going to be moving back to mid lane, so I'm going to move mid lane too. Yes. We have Syndra moving bot lane with teleport. We actually have two TPs this game. They don't seem to be shown. <laughs> the Vayne will never win this game, no matter how fat Vayne's going to be. My ultimate cannot be countered unless she somehow dodges it, and my E is just ridiculous. Especially if I'm running Frozen Heart, I just don't die against them anymore. Vayne is like the perfect uh, champion against me for uh, killing me if I have a lot of HP and armor, but it's still not enough for Vayne. Pick up blue. Nice. Oh, and we got a Ramus too, by the way. I completely forgot to mention about Ramus. Oh, we gotta be a little careful. I don't think I'll get to live through this. No, I don't. Got my Thormel. Okay, the next item that I'm going to be building um, could actually be Iceborne. And the reason why Iceborne is because it provides HP armor, which is actually needed this game. It provides ability hay so I can spam more. And uh, the item also pro uh, uh, provides the sheen. So when we're actually going in, we're doing more damage too. So everything this item has... Oh, and by the way, it also provides the slow, which is always appreciated. I think I might teleport. Yes, we're gonna T uh, we're gonna TP. Let's go. Got him. My ultimate is 75, so it's not that much. Look at our damage. It does nothing. Oh, you just helped me out. I think I might still die. <laughs> Look at the man chasing me down. Got him. Ah, they have a lot of damage. They have, they are running specific uh, items that actually shreds tanks. That's why they're doing so much. Specifically, Vayne too. Just want to grab one more wave and then we're uh, good to go. Nice. I need to head back here. Oh, that guy's gonna die. Yeah, yep. Got him too. That dragon is gonna be important, by the way. The next one the, that arrives. Got 
the sheen. So now it comes down to my teammates grouping together as four and then specifically focusing either Vayne or Belfet. Pre uh, preferably actually uh, Vayne because that guy just does more damage. Oh, nice disengage. Oh, yeah, they can see where I am. My teammates are on the way. I love how he's focusing me here. My E applied, so the slow apply too. Um, that's basically a Baron call right here. Should be a Baron call. They actually have no genre, they got no vein, they have nothing. We can just do this thing. They're gonna be dead for a bit. Let's see if I can tank it myself. We can run mid lane again. Uh, the final item that I'm going for is... I think it is uh, likely to be... I think probably a Jack Show. I like, uh, I like Jack Show a lot. Not for the MR really, but... I think I'm going to go for this item. Jack Show seems to be perfect here. Oh, that's another the game. Obviously it's over. Hey, this is uh, Malphite Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's Malphite video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.